This is the Rockets pregame presented by Toyota, and that is Toyota Center in downtown Houston, where the Houston Rockets will play the final preseason game of the season. Or the preseason. Or you know what I mean. <laughs> Would you figure out which it is? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of things we need to figure out here in this 2020 as it continues on. Rockets going to get a new face back in the lineup tonight. Christian Wood expected to play in this one tonight. A big free agent signing in the offseason. Rockets will wrap things up tonight. Coming up in about a half hour, you'll see it right here on AT&T Sportsnet alongside the Hall of Famer, Calvin Murphy. I'm Kevin Eschenfelder. And, man, uh, I'm glad the preseason is over because that means we can get to some real basketball. Absolutely. You know, as a former player, exhibition season was very important to get you back in shape. From Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. Tonight, the Rockets taking on the San Antonio Spurs. Hi again, everybody. I'm Bill Worrell. That's Matt Bullard. And Kaylee Griffin will be along in just a few moments. Game presented by Jack Daniels. Rockets did what they wanted to do when they wanted to do it. And if you take away one fourth quarter this season, this preseason in Chicago, Rockets would have well, they just swept everybody. Finished the preseason three and one. Not that that matters at all. What matters is the eye test and what you saw tonight. It's quite frankly a San Antonio Spurs team that was ready to get back to San Antonio and a Rockets team that looked like they had some guys particularly late. Uh, that they, they want to open some eyes. If it's not here, it, it's somewhere else alongside the Hall of Famer Calvin Murphy and Kevin Eschenfelder, but a good all-in-all -all effort. I mean, they, they, they held San Antonio under 20% shooting in the first quarter, really never let up, led by 30 at the end of the third quarter. See, this is one of those kind of games that a, a coach at this time of the year dreads because everybody played well and you've got to start cutting. 